programs for school-aged children. Leaving children home alone is often the only option for parents who do not have the ability to assist them due to their jobs, daily tasks, and other important activities. However, local organizations provide information on how to approach the subject mindfully, access resources for assistance, or find solutions. Leaving children unattended Parents and guardians are sometimes willing to let their children stay unsupervised because of multiple reasons that cannot be mitigated in order for the danger to be minimized. Peel Children's Aid mentions that children below the age of 10 cannot legally be left alone unsupervised. However, it is certain that parents and legal guardians are not always able to follow this rule. Thus, organizations offer guidelines, regulations, and help in order for the risks to be mitigated. In case the kids are to spend time alone, parents are to make sure they are able to take care of themselves. This includes being able to call emergency services, feed themselves, and safely explore their environments without being put at risk. Moreover, households where violence and unsafe neighborhoods impose a threat cannot be considered safe environments for children. Thus, various organizations offer possibilities in terms of extracurricular activities and hobbies that children can safely practice while not remaining unsupervised by adults. Thus, solutions can be Parents ensuring safe conditions Finding extracurricular activities Seeking help from relevant organizations Extracurricular activities Extracurricular activities are excellent ways for children to enjoy the hobbies that they like and for parents to find a safe option instead of leaving the kids unattended. Thus, multiple programs intended to assist people in such difficult situations are put in place. The Government of Ontario has specific regulations put in place through the Child Care and Early Years Act CCYA, in 2014 when it comes to licensing programs that help children maintain a healthy lifestyle through activity have a safe environment, and give parents options in terms of avoiding leaving children alone at home. This does not only apply to programs related to sports, and multiple options are available depending on health concerns, preferences, and motivation. Thus, organizations often offer options such as art classes, nature-related activities, martial arts training, and other extracurricular activities that children can participate in. Such initiatives can require authorization or not depending on the hours of operations, the provider, the activity that is being promoted, and other factors that the government deems important to consider when providing a license. Either way, Peel County in Ontario has various options that parents can apply to when it comes to finding an activity that would allow children to do what they like in a safe and supervised. Sports and Recreational Activities Sports and other recreational activities that involve exercise are common ways for parents to ensure children are not only safe in terms of having a supervisor coach but also maintain a high level of physical activity instead. Thus, both health reasons and personal difficulties in regard to supervising a child can be addressed through programs that allow participants to become a part of a team, improve social skills, and have a proper hobby. The Government of Ontario specifically mentions that recreational sports and other similar community-based opportunities are ways for children to be healthy while striving for success and possibly acquiring a skill that will later be used in professional life in terms of becoming an athlete and pursuing a career in sports. Based on the suggestions to apply to different sport-related initiatives, parents can safely provide their children with a secure environment while thinking about their social and physical well-being.